Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So I'd like to start off with apologies for not having any content or any decent content out for a while. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you um, a fairly simple set um, and it's a nice bright set. Um, this set is on my sister so I'm not wearing any PPE because she is part of my social bubble. We live in the same road and we do see each other quite regularly so I didn't wear any PPE but we have both washed our hands and we've sanitised and all my tools and equipment and everything has been sanitised and cleaned as I would do for any um, client so I'm just coming in here with a cuticle pusher and pushing back her cuticles and this is um, on my pinching tool. So on one side there's a cuticle pusher, the other side there's like a little knife type thing that I just scrape away that dead skin. And I'm going to be doing this on all ten nails. Um, apologies for not staying in shot. I do go out of shot quite a few times on this video. Um, I know it's annoying. I'm really sorry. But I am a little bit out of practice with... Um, my filming at the minute um i'm not a fully working nail tech yet i am just doing like family and um regulars at the minute and um, the ones that have regular appointments and family i'm not sort of advertising and putting myself out there because covid19 is still very much here so um at the minute i'm just keeping it nice and small nice small tight group and um yeah so um once i've done all that i just spray our hands with cjp's prep spray prep spray plus and wipe off the excess and now i'm using a fresh file as i do on every client they all get a brand new file um and i'm just etching that nail plate and it does look like i'm being a little bit rough here but this video has been sped up um, I'm just applying enough pressure to um, etch the nail bed and push back those cuticles as well, getting into all those little nail folds, um, but not um, damaging the nail beds. So my sister is a little bit of a nibbler. So apologies for the state of her cuticles in. When she hasn't got her nails on, she does tend to nibble. And that's why she's... Uh, coming today to have a, a fresh set i did do a set on her about four weeks ago which she removed because she's got a new job working in a very busy supermarket so she removed that set herself and um now she's got used to the job a little bit she's come in for another set but we are going to keep them really really short so i'm just coming in here now with this Ball bit and all I'm doing really is just getting rid of all that excess bit of skin and anything that I might have missed. I have done a lot of my work, cuticle work with the cuticle pusher and the file. This is just to make sure that I've got every little bit away. And then I start applying tips. Now I did have some trouble with my glue today. I usually use, well I do use CJP gripper glue and normally you put it on and it grips straight away. Um, I think because it's been such a warm, humid day, I think the glue was actually probably setting before it actually went on the nails because I've never had this problem before. Um, normally they just stick so I did have a bit of problems getting these tips to stick today as you can see look it just wouldn't have it but i did eventually get them all on and stuck down now my sister turned up with a glass of wine in hand so um i only put tips on this one hand i've put both hands but i only put tips on this one hand do this one hand and then i switch and do the other hand so she's got a hand free to um drink a glass of wine without knocking any tips off
So once I eventually got all those tips on and stuck down, I um, clipped them to a desired length and she wanted to go right down to the skin so they looked more like a, a natural sort of overlay um, type design. So I'm just coming in, in now with my file, just filing um, those side walls, making sure I've got no overhang and just straightening up that free edge. And as you can see, I do keep going a little bit out of shot, but I, you can get the gist of what I'm doing. You can see what I'm doing. Um, now, when we discussed colours, um, she wanted something bright. Um, obviously, I'm wearing bright nails myself. I'm wearing Mango Tango and Flamingo Ombre with some glitter over. And she wanted a similar sort of colour, so she went with... Um, Coral Sparkle and Sonia Williams Citrus Yellow um, for the glitter. So we start off with um, the thin clear base. So what I'm doing is I'm dehydrating as I go along. And as you can see it goes chalky white. And then I just add a very, very small dab of um, acid primer. And I do wipe most of it off on my kitchen towel, so I am adding just the tiniest little bit on there. I just find this works for me. I am using the one monomer. I've gone back to using the one monomer. And since I've gone back to the one monomer, I have no problems whatsoever with my nails anymore. And, I, and my brushes are being able to get cleaned a lot better. So I, I think... Um, the 1.2 monomer was um, the result in my um, brushes not being able to clean because since I've gone back to this monomer I've got no issues at all, none whatsoever. So I'm really pleased I switched back to this monomer and again I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the 1.2, it just didn't work for me. Um, this one works a lot better for me um, and I can get better results using this monomer and that's the reason why I went back to it. So yeah, I'm only applying a small clear base to these nails because they're so short. I don't want to bulk them out and chances are my sister will probably remove these herself because that's what she does. Um, so I've applied a very, very thin layer, thinner than what I normally do. And then I'm just starting off on the ring finger with a full glitter finger. And like I said, this is Citrus from the cocktail collection from Sonia Williams. And I'm not applying any colour or anything underneath, I'm just applying it straight onto the nail. Obviously I've got my clear layer down below, so it's not going directly on the nail bed. And then I'm just tickling it into those cuticles and side walls, making sure they're not touching the skin. And then I'll just go in with a wet brush just to add any extra on top, just to fill in any gaps. Um, yeah, and then I do cap straight away, I think. I think I cap straight away. Yep, cap straight away. Um, and I start off with putting a bit on the tip and then going into the cuticle area and bringing the bead down. And like I said, I don't want to bulk these nails all up because they, they are more or less a natural overlay. Um, there's not much free edge. So um, I am keeping these nails very thin. So once I finish with this nail, then go on to the pointer finger and we was gonna do we are well we are going to do a glitter fade on this nail. So I'm using that coral sparkle on the tip and just blending it back. And coral sparkle does have like little yellow um but it's got loads of different colour glitters in it. So the yellow glitter went really well with this set. All the other fingers now are just going to be full um, coral sparkle. And it's a good job they were short nails because this acrylic in this heat was just setting up straight away. So if I'd have been doing a long set of nails, I, I would have struggled today with this heat. Um, so yeah, I've 
using a really small brush because my sister does only have small fingers and I'm doing a tiny set so I'm using my Love by CJP brush today so I've put a bead on the tip and then I'm just tickling it into the cuticle just tapping it in there and swiping it down and then I think I'll come in with one more bead just to balance it all out to get rid of any shadowing and I do exactly the same on the thumbnail now my sister's a little bit of a fidgeter she does spend a lot of time on her phone even though I have banned phones in the room but um she is a bit of a fidgeter, so it's a case of when I come to the cuticle, just try and get it on there as neat as I can. Um, while well, she's not fidgeting around, but um, I've done her uh, nails quite regularly, so I am uh, quite used to her movement, so I managed to do it. And then I come back to this pointer finger, and I just apply a little wet bead first, and then just tap the glitter straight into that um, clear bead. With a wet brush so i don't add too much bulk because i will be capping this nail and just tickling into that cuticle area and blending it down So now I'm going to cap all these nails and I am putting a very, very thin layer of um, crystal glass. I just don't want to file into any of those pieces of glitter. So I'll just put on a tiny bead at the cuticle and just brush it down just so I've got something to um, file out at the end. This one I do put a slightly thicker layer on. Um, because I don't want to fall into any of that glitter. Once I've applied all the acrylic, I do flip it hand around so I can see it from their viewpoint just to make sure that they're all even, there's no gaps, so I see see the nails as she would see them. And then once I'm happy, um, I went off and um, let them set, just tidied up, let them set, and then I'm coming in now with my filing routine, and again I do go out of shot a little bit here. Um, so I start off with my nail mate file and they're 100 grit and then I switched files to this one which is a 100 180 grit and I start off with a 100 grit side just debulking and bringing those side walls in and going across the top and then I flip the file around to the 180 side and just go over again just to just even them up and get them looking really nice and then I come back with my nail mate and just sharpen up those those free edges and then I go over with a white buffing block once I'm happy and I repeat this on all the rest of the nails
So once I've finished filing at this uh, viewpoint, I do flip her hands around and look at it from her, her viewpoint and just straighten up those three edges and sort out any side walls that need straightening. And then once I'm happy, I just brush them all off. And then she goes off to wash her hands in soap and water. And then we go, uh, once she comes back from washing her hands, I do go over with um, some um, wipe off solution just to make sure there's no soap residue or any more dust left on the nails. Um, and then I use the time to shine top coat and I'm out shot again. So this hand, you can't really see. Well, you can, you can see this one, but the others go a little bit out of shot, as you can see. You do see better on the other hand. And then I will leave a little clip at the end and some photographs of um, the finished set. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry the quality of the video hasn't been that great. I've um, been out of shot quite a few times. But like I said, I'm out of practice um, recording on people. I'm so used to doing... Over the last few months doing nails on myself and my um, flexi hand. Um, doing um, regular clients again. It's um, a bit different because I've forgotten how much they fidget around so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will um, try and improve um, on this. So um, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and share some love in the comments box and um i will look forward to speaking to you again in the next video so for now bye bye